All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome back. We're uh, trying out version two here of Experimental Frenzy Affinity. Um, our last version went three and two, surprisingly, after two pretty brutal losses against humans and spirits. Um, we got a little lucky against Storm here and there. But anyway, this is a deck based around the card Experimental Frenzy. We're trying to try this card out in Modern, and we're trying to experiment with it, basically, and see if we can get our Frenzy going. Uh, biggest limiting factors for Frenzy are land drops and mana. So if you have a deck with very few lands in it and lots of free cards, we can go nuts. And here you go. We're playing 14 lands, a bunch of zero and one mana spells, free spells like Frogmite and Mirror Enforcer. We're going to go nuts. Um, we had some pretty crazy turns in the previous league where we cast Frenzy on turn two and went nuts on turn three. Um, a few changes from last league. We're, we cut down on Paradise Mantle because it wasn't super great. And uh, we we'll cut down on Jar a little bit. We're playing Two Stars. Two Stars in the Deck. My band Teach Me Human has a, a song called Two Stars. Check it out. Um, initially, I didn't play Chromatic Star because I felt like it was a Nambo with uh, the Frenzy. Because obviously drawing cards into your hand is worthless when you have a Frenzy in play. However, we do want to clear the top of our deck. Occasionally with Frenzy, we had uh, a second land on top or an extra Frenzy on top. So being able to just like cycle that away for essentially free is basically the same as drawing a card because it restarts the train. So I like Star for that reason. It's also a cheap artifact for Affinity, better for our sideboard cards. Uh, we're playing one Thopter Engineer. This is a spicy one. It's a one three, gives all of your, your artifact creatures haste. So that's pretty dope. And it allows us to go off with Frenzy and then attack with everything immediately. So this card may be trash. It is a pretty high upfront cost, but we're trying it out. Chat wanted to see it, so we're doing that. And then the sideboard, we're playing Canonist now instead of uh, Damping Sphere, because Damping Sphere is um, kind of bad. So, cool. Let's go. We have two stars to help clear the top of our deck. We're also just playing... Oh, look, we won. We're also just playing... Um, just playing, again, like 14 lands in our deck. So, Alright, let's battle. I love this one Thopter Engineer. I do like this card a lot. It's a pretty sweet card. I believe this card's in my cube. I have a pretty heavily supported artifact theme in my cube. I'm not sure if it's still there, but it's not a bad card. You know? I'm gonna give those Mirror Enforcers haste. It's gonna be cool. I like it. And you folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button. Of course, you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Also, don't forget, today's article day. And by that, I mean Video Day. CoolStuffInc.com. Your number one spot to go for all your gaming needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Card games. You name it, it's there. Of course, Magic, the important one. Board games, miniatures, role-playing games, supplies, Star Realms. You name it, it's on here. Want to buy a game? You should buy it from CoolStuffInc.com. In the business for over 20 years. Or probably around that time. It's a long time. I don't know the exact years and stuff. But articles. Friday's article is all about Tron. I have a written article every Friday and a video article every Monday. My video article goes up in about a half an hour. So stay tuned to CoolStuffInc.com, my new home on the web. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Jinx Choker is a cool card, but it's not really great. Star Realms is a lot of fun. Nicole is actually insane at Star Realms. Nicole, um... Nicole plays in this like Star Realms League on her. She's on some board game geek thing or whatever. And Nicole plays Star Realms a lot. She's quite good at Star Realms. I'm okay. I don't play that much. She plays on her phone a lot. You know, she'll be she'll be at the doctor with John or, you know, she plays on her phone a lot. Once Arena goes mobile and she can play that, that'll be great for her because she like, likes Magic too. But Turtle Madness says, "Is just guy control dead in modern or is really bad?" I mean, nothing's ever dead in modern. It's just modern, you know. This is an old school affinity hand. Keep. Can I cast Mirror Enforcer on turn one here? Um, no. Of course, I have my cool hot cocoa cup here too. See how it's faded. The heat makes the uh, the sky turn blue. Give me. Flame Blade Adept. Interesting. Ink Moth Nexus. Mm. 
They might also play a free 4-4 four four next turn. Star Realms is a, a deck building game, yes. Burnsy, you can't be off camera with your with your walk. Well, chill, Burnsy, relax, alright? Look. You have this cool box, you gotta chew it on camera, alright? People wanna see you, they love you, Burnsy. Crash and Basham says, I'm going to GP Liverpool. Team Unified Modern, any tips? I need a more specific question than that. Um Arclight Phoenix, Risk Factor. Man, this is like the card of the moment here in Modern. I'm not sure, honestly. Unified Modern is a very weird format. They bolted us, and they gut shot. Main deck gut shot? That's so good against us. It's unreal. There's our Frenzy. Um, okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Interesting. They only have two cards left. They have a risk factor, which is kind of a tilt, but we can block this Adept with our Thopter and our Enforcer. I want to keep the Thopter to block this thing. I'm just going to stay back. What's up, Crash? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing some wacky stuff here today. Experimental Frenzy in everything. Goblin Lore discards Phoenix. Manamorphose, Lightning Bolt. All right. Very unlikely they uh, yeah, get that Phoenix back right now. Four power is very annoying, though, because that means our Mirror Enforcer will merely trade. But with Frenzy in our hand, we're going to do that. RJ! New sub. RJ, what's your name? Where are you from? Questions are in chat. Welcome. All right, we get the frenzy. Plating also, yeah. We got a frenzy. I don't think I care about plating right now. We're at eight. It's possible they can flash back this phoenix next turn. So let's get frenzy gone. It's a frenzy. God, hit the land. All right, gotta survive. What do they do? Oh, they cast Burning Inquiry and they discarded a, a Fiery Temper? God, that's lucky. That's one, two. They have a spell, too. Oh my god. Alright. They have a second Phoenix. We are probably dead here, unfortunately. That's not bad. It's awkward that I have to pay a black for it, but... Alright. Memnite. Nexus. Snow-covered mountain. Tilt. Well... We just played the Blink Moth Nexus. So that's not really... Yeah, that's alright. All right, I mean, we're still alive for the moment. They only have one card in hand. What's up, Innistrad Revenue Service? Welcome, my friend. Aether Vial is good in small case scenarios. Risk factor. Uh, no, you can draw the three cards, I guess. I got double gut shot me into next year. This deck's kind of wild. It's a mixture of the mono red Phoenix deck and uh, Hollow One. It's pretty interesting. Gut shot my flyer. All right, we are dead. So their hand was pretty good. They did some pretty good stuff there. 
Um, gut shots also like just insane against us. Um, hmm. We're gonna want some number of Tormod scripts. Cut engineer. I'm gonna cut these mantles too. I think. Or like three crypts maybe. Canonist is. Uh, I guess canonist is good too. All right. That's, we're slowing down our deck a little bit. For sure. Maybe we keep these mantles in then. And cut like a frenzy and a mirror enforcer. We need the stars to cast canonist. Shave on a frenzy. I'm not happy about that, but it's got a crypt, I guess, too. And two crypts is fine. Gotta cut two more cards. Now we're playing two mantle. We still want the mantles to um, help cast frenzy on turn two. We're playing Affinity with actual Affinity cards. The big the big thing here is uh, Frenzy. We're playing Experimental Frenzy Affinity. It's it's a, it's Experimental Frenzy Day. We're playing Experimental Frenzy Elves next, too. Like, I think I want the Welding Jars still. Like, they're going to have ways to kill my stuff. What do I cut? Honestly, I don't know what to cut. Rest in Beast is just very slow. It costs two mana to cast. You know? Maybe I just want two canonists. Maybe I don't want Torment scripts. I don't even know. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea what to do here. Um, I'm going to cut the jars. This might be wrong, but I'm not sure. Kiki Jiki, you can get uh, you can get timed out, my friend. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. All right, let's go. This hand is gas. Um, we're not cutting frogmite. It's insane. This hand is perfect. All right. Drum. That's not perfect, but it's very good. Mantle has not been very good. Um, mantle is. How am I doing? We're about short of that. It's... I guess I want to keep the mantle in my hand. So if I cast Burning and Crew, I want to have an extra card to discard. We haven't I mean, we haven't drawn Mansell in concert with Ornithopter that much, and we haven't when we've drawn the Ornithopter. We've also had this too, the drum. It's sort of like this is like sort of like drum five and six on nothing. All right. Speak of a devil. All right, so then we have turn one canonist. No. Yes, we did. I'm an idiot. Oops. Yeah. I just had this as a, as a blank card in my hand. I made a boo-boo. As I was saying in the previous league, I kind of have a headache today, so my play will be a little worse than usual, which is going to be really bad. But, alright, so Slam Jam. We can just cast Frenzy here. This is actually kind of awkward, because now we can cast Turn 2 Frenzy or Canonist. Canonist does seem good. Yeah, we stomp out that toxicity. We smush it like a bug. One, two, three, four. Canonist or Frenzy? Yeah, it's gotta be Frenzy, right? We're doing it. We didn't put Frenzy in our deck to not play it. So Canonist, I apologize, I made an error. You should be in play, but you're not. So we're doing it. It's also... It's also completely safe in play, because um, obviously if it's in play, our mono red opponent can't remove it, so. Keep that. 
play that. I said play that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just short. Just short. All right, it's fun. Ross, you're always yelling. Turn to Metamorphos. Look at the size of the marshmallows Nicole put in my hot cocoa. They're full-sized marshmallows. How am I supposed to do with these? Whoa, they discarded two phoenixes to Burning Inquiry? That's so lucky. That is very lucky. All right. But like, how do I get them out, you know? All right, let's go. Tormod script, right on time. Right on time. What's up, Tannen? And another frenzy. Crap. God damn. All right, well, we're cashed in the frenzy. Which sucks. But what are you going to do? I did, I did throw the spoon out. God damn it. All right. Well, was that their turn two? That was their turn two, wasn't it? That's insane. I hate this card. When this card is good, it's just like super careful study, double thought sees, dark ritual. Like, they went turn two, hollow one, phoenix, phoenix. And they discarded the phoenixes to a burning inquiry. Yeah, obviously we just cast... Well, they had a bolt. They were just, they were just bolt to the canonists, probably. All right, I mean, we're not dead yet, but we're, we're close. In hindsight, the canonists were safer. Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> like... Hindsight's twenty twenty. Alright, that clears top card of my deck. Oh, they discarded two tempers off of it. Well, if Burning Inquiry is just going to be a three-card Faithless Looting, I don't think we can actually win. So, we're dead now. <laughs> Inquiry discarding two Phoenix, and now Inquiry discarding two, two tempers. That's unreal. What's up, Todd? Oh. I'm just gonna sip my hot cocoa here and be sad. Alright, that was fun. It's the old turn three kill. Just casual. If we cast the cannonist, they had the bolt. They were just gonna kill it. It didn't matter. They would have end stepped on it, so. Whew. That game was close, you know? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We got a lot of people hanging out in chat. We got my two teammates, Ross Merriam and Tan and Grace from Team BCW. We got Todd Anderson, SEG fame, and of course been streaming now too, Todd. Happy to see you streaming. That's cool. Check out Todd's stream, Strong Sad. And um, we had a great crowd otherwise, 600 fantastic viewers. We got Burnsy hanging out. Burnsy's having a great time. We're doing Experimental Frenzy Day. We're trying Frenzy and Modern. This is uh, Frenzy Affinity. Went 3-2 and two in the last league with this deck, and now we changed it a bit. And uh, we just got browned. That's okay, though. That's fine. Humans again. All right. We lost to humans in our first league. Sand's fine, though. So we have two, play drum, play plating. It's not a bad start, you know? Not too shabby. I'm trying to eat these large marshmallows somehow. I 
That's a large marshmallow. Schmitty heard a rumor that Tan and Grace has the best hair of any Team BCW member. Agree or disagree? I mean, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Come on. <laughs> I think we got it, Ty. We, we're just going to do the old, um, you know, just let it rip. I'm going to go full-size marshmallow. All right, let's pest here. Get a little pestering. Get a little Quipskis going. And uh, I think there's a question if we're going to pop this star post-combat or not. I don't think so. We could draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't we can draw a mirror enforcer actually? Yeah, we'll pop it. Give me a red. That plays. That plays. Needs more scale and it's tooth of Kiskoria. Todd. I like them old school affinity cards. Todd, were you playing back before Darksteel was released and like the popular Moto deck was like Ravager Affinity before Ravager was out? It was like Atogs, Four Tooth, Four Scale. It was cool. What is this? Dahlia? Bugler? That's old school. Started an invasion? Yeah. That's where me and Todd, like, you know, we can, we can relate over those really, really old stuff. It's Todd, Todd played Moto too, so like back on it, the deck really never broke out in paper, but on Moto, like the the ten dollar affinity deck was like the deck. Four tooth, four scale, eight togs. It wasn't Broodstar though, because the the popular de versions of the deck were playing like Broodstar and like bigger stuff. This was like the traditional affinity deck before Ravager was even printed. All right, Bugler hit. Champion. All right. Well, if they have a flying creature, it's kind of annoying. But another pest. That's cool. So we can trade Vault Scourge with Freebooter. And get our plating back. Yeah, this is all cool. Let's do this. We're gonna leave the uh, the Nexus behind. I guess we're gonna cast this Signal Pest too. If it makes sense. Pentavis. I've cast Pentavis before. Rush of Knowledge was sweet. That card was really cool. The old Magnivore decks, those decks were sweet too. Turn two, I have nowhere your land. Turn three, Stone Rain your land. Turn four, Magnivore or whatever. Arc Slogger, also sweet. Not sure what the holdup is here. Oh, I cast Pentavis. That card was dope. Quipskis. So off file here, they could have a freebooter. They could block. They could have an image. Maybe they're deciding if they want to like image and response something and try and look at our hand. I don't know what they're doing. Whatever. Just hurry up on it. We got places to go. People to kill. Coffee to drink. Frenzies to cast. We do have two black, so we could actually move this plating if we wanted to. I don't know if we do. We could like attack a pest also. They block the pest, you move the plating over to the pest. I don't want to trade the, uh, the pest for the booter though. And not, not get it for eight here, I'm just going to get it for eight. Talking with all is crazy. All right, this is fun. And I can also, I can also just cast the plating post combat too now too. So, so we gain a bunch of life. Cast another plating, 
And life is good. Chirp. Attack with all? Why? Like, I'm actually happy trading there, so... Also, then I can't cast the, uh... The plating post-combat. I could have had, like, another freebooter to, like, steal the plating still in combat, maybe, but... I also find Mantis Rider here. We have double plating, though, so I think we're, like, in pretty good shape. Yeah, like, I don't... They're, like, trying to kind of race us right now, and I don't think they really, uh... It's gonna work. Maybe it will. Alright, so... Mandis Rider, highly unlikely. Reflector Mage, likely and annoying. Um... Let's see. How do we play around Reflector Mage? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Play. We can, I mean, there's too much mana to attack by the Nexus. That's a little hindsighty to think about, you know, what could have happened. We didn't, you know, they, we didn't know they were putting this much power in play, obviously, so. Um, equip, equip, attack, attack, they bounce one, can't replay it, we equip, equip, drum, and we can't re-equip, we can chomp if we have to, and then we have nexus and pest to attack also. Alright, let's just do some stuff. I mean, if we attack with both pests and don't equip, they're just going to take the, the, the two damage. Oh, they're dead. Cool. Old Bluffskis. No Reflector Mage here. Thank you very much. All right, so as far as cyborging, last time we brought in, like, the Whip Flares and the Blood Moons and the Dismembers. That's a lot of cards. Um... Welding Jar is bad, because I don't kill anything. The Hopter Engineer can go. It's a little cute. I don't mind cutting a Mirror Enforcer. It's still a lot of cards. The Whip Flare and, and Blood Moon are so awkward, because, like, maybe I don't, I, want, I don't want Blood Moon on the draw. I want it on the play. I don't want it on the draw. So, cut the Jar, Jar, Enforcer, Thopter for four removal spells. And then if we lose game two, we'll try and punk him game three with, like, turn two Blood Moon. But for now, I think this is fine. Let's just do our thing. Aether Grid is just kind of slow. Like, Blood Moon on a draw, like, they might have a board already. It's not like we're, like, kill creature, kill creature, then play Blood Moon. We're, like, playing crap. They, they play crap. We play Blood Moon, and if their crap is better than our crap, we're going to die. So it's not, like, it's not like Blood Moon is in different decks, you know? This is not Anointia Bonus League. No, I built this deck. I know, right? Ugh. This hand's kind of gross. It does have plating and multiple Nexus, but it is very soft to a turn two freebooter. Strong said, said... Equip both signal, attack with both, wait for them, then move. Two, two, yeah, I might work too. They just didn't have it though, so whatever. Um, 
This hand's pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan. We can do better. They have Thalia also, his hand's terrible, so. Alright, this is. This is better, I guess. That's fine. Alright. If they have they have Thalia or or Booter turn two on the play, they can take our plating in the last hand. We have nothing. So All right. scourge it up. Thalia is so good. <laughs> Champion of the parish. Champion of the parish. Please I guess Whipfler is bad, I mean, we might have any red. Alright. I would take a dismember, honestly, to kill this noble. Memnite. Nexus, Memnite, Plating, Frogmite. All the mites. Where's Pestermite? Uh, but my courier seems bad because it's just bad with frenzy and I don't know. Yes, I am Jim, not Jeff. Your B. It is your B. All right. Jeff's great. I'm great too. What do they got? What's going on? We got a race here. Yeah, lieutenant. I think if they miss on land like this turn and like maybe next. Oh, they drew played a noble. All right. Well, they can, uh, now they can, like, Knight of Autumn my, uh, my plating or something now, which kind of sucks. The Courier seems bad in this deck. Alright. I mean, we got plating Vault Scourge, so that makes me pretty happy. Quipskies. I'm pretty happy with this trade, I think. Alright, a little eight ball. No, I guess Reflector Mage doesn't matter, right? Because we, we have a second Vault Scourge. Just no Disenchant effect for plating, and I think we're in great shape. Take a five ball, sure. Oh, you dead. You dead, opponent. A little post combat reflector mage? Sure. Who needs who needs a counter, you know? Nexus, so five. Which one's newly controlled? This one. That's six, seven. That's eight. Don't gut shot me. Whew. Whew. That would have been the best gut shot of all time. We win. One and one. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're playing Experimental Frenzy Affinity. We're just... Messing around, pretty experimental list, kind of threw it together. Trying to test out the power of the card, Experimental Frenzy in Modern. And uh, we're 1-1. One one. Went 3-2 in our first league with this deck. This is the updated list. If you missed that, it'll be on YouTube. The sand is cool. Keep. Any Duncan Dinos today? Nah, I've played a lot of Duncan Dinos. Can't stay too long on one thing, you know? All right, well, we have no zero drop, so we're uh, not turning on our mox yet, unfortunately, but that's okay. Modern Duncan Dinos? That would be uh, pretty wild. Goblin Guide. Nice Vault Scourge, Jim. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Ooh, you drew a card? That's cool. Hmm. Ah, well...
Doctor Engineer is probably not correct. All right, but chat wanted me to play it, so I gave in and did it. Yes, Oracle Moldaya plus Frenzy is very good. There is no doubt of that. They play an Eidolon here. I kind of don't care because I have a big 7 drop and these creature lands and this Vault Scourge. Uh, Pia is definitely not good. The, the whole reason we want the Thopter Engineer is for haste. Alright, I would not like it if they have Searing Blaze here. We're looking for hasties, you know? Rift Bolt. Alright. Signal Pest. Alright. Um, land. Let's play Pest. This is six. Let's fire up the Nexus. That's seven. I suppose yes, Azusa plus Frenzy's better. Oracle's redundant with, with, with that, that's true. Um, and now we're going to pop this for red. I mean, this is a nice stack. They don't have Bolt for Vault Scourge. Either way, this is still like a much faster clock than what they have, so they Bolt Vault Scourge, we attack for a good amount. I suppose they have Rift Bolt, so we have a blocker for the Goblin Guide, though. Attack for a lot next turn. What's up, Yoshi Man? Happy birthday, my friend. We're 12 and they have four cards in hand. Another Rift Bolt. And a Lava Spike. Two cards in hand, we're at nine. Six, three, with two cards in hand. We are probably dead this turn. That's a Mem Knight. All right, give me a... a red, are they dead on board? Seven. Two, 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 four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only count ten. I don't see a way to nexus them either because we're one short. It'll be four and four, two short. Um, if I had nexus them last turn, I might have punted actually. Yeah, I think I punted. I should have died with the ink mod nexus last turn. That made both these lethal this turn. Yeah. Um. You should all plating. Start there. M night. So four, five, six, seven, eight, block. Yeah. Yeah, we should have, we should have infected last turn. I, I didn't think about it. That was not smart. All right, well, we're probably dead, but whatever. I guess damage or infect doesn't matter anymore. Uh, 12, might as well just put the damage in. We're almost assuredly dead, but maybe a miracle will happen. What's the miracle that can happen? They have an Eidolon in hand and may draw a Goblin Guide. It's a Christmas miracle! Play bad, win anyway. Jim Davis stream. Next time you out. Yeah, so the mistake last game was I didn't I didn't think of uh I didn't, I didn't have the foresight to think about infecting next turn for eight. So my, my Blink Moth attack the previous turn should have been the Ink Moth taxes. It only gets in for like two or three, but then next turn I have eight in the air with the other Ink Moths. So yeah, that was pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty lucky. Um, What do we want here? 
Frenzies don't seem pretty... I mean, we should be pretty fine this matchup. So we just kill pretty quick. Um, Canada seems pretty good, actually, against stuff like, you know, double spells or... Um, Rift Bolts, etc., etc. I don't really want Whip Flare, I don't think, or Dismember. I suppose the card Eidolon of the Great Rebel is insane against us. Uh, that's what I just said, Dab. I just said that. Welcome aboard. Frenzy does not seem good here at all. Maybe we just cut the frenzies completely. This is like this is a racing matchup. This is not a a card man. Yeah, probably with whip flares. I guess it seems pretty good. Each non artifact, not colored, good. Yeah, this is fun. Turn two idol will be tough without a whip, a whip flare, but it is what it is. I ideally, ideally we can just dump our hand on turn one. They also might board out idol on because like. On the play, Eidolon's still good against Affinity, I think, but I could just dump my hand on turn one, so... Which we were going to do. Wow, this hand's insane. <laughs> Look at this hand. <laughs> uh, keep. Why are we not allowed to cut Frenzy? We're still trying to win, you know, like... Grim Lobmancer, all right, that's pretty good. But I think our hand will be handling that perfectly fine. Alright, so they have, they can put two, if they have like Lava Spike Fetch Land and they can bolt me, it kind of sucks, but I think we're going to hold the Whip Flare. Eh, we could just Whip Flare right now. Then we can't cast Frogmite or Pest if they go Eidolon, it sucks. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Blowout. I'm just going to assume they don't have a, uh, a way to um, go Bananas next turn. They have Fetched Land plus Lava Spike. They don't. Sweet. Please play a creature. Please play a creature. Please play a creature. Please play a creature. Well, it's four Ink Moth and four Blink Moth, so it's not a split. We're just playing the maximum amount of flying creature lands. You know, if they had a uh, Mistress Factory available, I had to think about it. But next Frenzy deck's going to be Elves. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. Right, like it's not like we have we have a, we have a choice, you know. Mish Factory. Then maybe maybe we're talking about a about a possible. I think this is so insane. Whoosh. Let me get to slam. They get a bolt signal pest? No. Alright, so False Scourge is still vulnerable, but it's okay. Just a solid two for one, and neither card did any damage. One of the things about Burn is they're trying to make every card deal damage. Even if, like, they Goblin Guide you, take two, and then you bolt it, they still get to deal damage. Um, Path to Exile also didn't deal damage, so we're still at a healthy 20 life. We are clocking them. We're playing a Vault Scourge. It needs to die, probably. Um, as a burn player, I could see leaving Eidolon in on the play, maybe, but definitely board out on the draw. Ornithopter. Okay. So we just double. We just double up here. Double Nexus. And Smush. Once they bolt the pest, that would be annoying. It's also, I mean, they only have two cards left that were at 18, so it isn't even that bad. Yeah, path seems weird, I agree. Remember, our opponents that don't necessarily know what we're doing, so if they're scared of, like, you know, Steel Overseer or Ravager or Master of Ethereum, I guess, something like Lightning Helix, the Signal Pest. All right, so we do that. We can't I talk about Midnight anymore. That does halt our clock kind of significantly, but they're also at one card in hand, and we're at 18, 19. So. I mean, Andrew, again, this is, would you rather it be a mountain? 
You know, like... We're in the market for colorless artifact creature lands. And there are no other options. Top card, Mirror Enforcer. I can buy that. This costs... Two. Never mind. Just fire up these bad boys. And it costs zero. I miss Mirror Enforcer. Mirror Enforcer's dope. This is it Mirror Enforcer the bomb? Doctor's going in. Can't stop. Won't stop. No offense intended, but if you think Ink Moth doesn't belong in Affinity, you don't understand the deck. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of just like, what, what, um, what Andrew is saying is, like, reasonable, but just not recognizing the other options available. So they double kill of our creatures, sweet. We're at 17 with the board, and they have no cards in end. And another Nexus. Give him the old Pumpskies. What do I think the breakout deck will be at the Pro Tour? Well, I do a Pro Tour predictions article before every Pro Tour, which will now be on CoolStuffInc.com. So check it out on Friday, and I'll figure it out. Eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're dead in two turns. I'm gonna block here. Um, they play a spell like a Boros Charm or whatever. The stop there just doesn't matter that much. It's likely they don't have it. I guess they would leave us back to block the Mem Knights. So they probably have... They also just drew this Swift Spear. So their, their hand could be like Skullcrack. I guess Helix, Bolt, Boros, Strong, a lot of stuff. They cast the Helix last turn and a Bolt last turn. Alright, I guess we'll wait. What's our top card? Top card was a Signal Pest. We have lethal in two turns, no matter what. For if it's a card that kills Mirror Enforcer, then it's more of a problem. But eh, screw it. Show me what you got. Yeah, that's fine. It's a free free block there. It is weird they would not they would attack with this and not try and block these. But even if they use if they use their instant right then and there, then I'm free to drop plating and stuff too, so um, I, I know I know it's on top of my deck, I guess it doesn't matter. But um alright. Let's uh, just fire in with everything, I guess. Properly leave back Thopter this time. It only seemed dead to like hard like Shatterstorm or something. Like actual factual shatter storm. Yeah, sweet. Obviously not a not a frenzy matchup, but up oh, they had two lands in their hand. Well, that's what happens when you play Magic. You draw lands sometimes. Two and one. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, take take a second, hit that follow. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub on there. We're doing great. The stream's going great. We have twenty five thousand followers i actually hit that milestone recently and i haven't even had a chance to do anything crazy for it yet because you're all so awesome and i can't keep up with all these milestones youtube's going great also check out the youtube youtube.com slash mtg almost at seventeen thousand five hundred subscribers that's insane check that out of course and uh also follow me on twitter at jim davis mtg going for ten thousand followers for the year we got about a thousand more to go Two months to do it. Let's go. Hit that follow button. Today's announcement? Sure, post a link to it. We can do a little uh, little newsening here. All right. Oh, we drew, we drew the Thopter Engineer? We're keeping. Keeping on the back of Thopter Engineer alone. Sweet Westminster. It's on Twitch right now? What's on Twitch right now? The announcement? Uh, yeah, Vault Scourge is fun. I guess 
could play the mantle too. Huh, I'll be damned, it is. Temple of Malice. Oh boy. That usually means some sort of busted combo deck. Vault Scourge. Alright, well... I guess we're gonna Mantle... Pest Scourge and probably just die in two turns. Alright. Kripsky. Sorry, Waffles wants to eat Burns E. Stop trying to eat Burns E. Alright, well, we have played the next turn. Um. Thanks for the reset of this, Smash Talkies. I appreciate that. Ooh. Discard Grizzlebrand to hand size, so we are 100% getting Goro's Vengeance next turn. Uh, um. And there probably isn't a thing we can do about it. Honestly. We have a stop to engineer though, so <laughs> glad we have that. That's good. Alright, yeah, I mean cranial plating. I guess we could no, we don't have enough mana to ink bomb next system. We'll just deal as much damage as possible and try to make it so they can't pay a lot of life. Sir Hammerfall Hammerfell, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome my friend. Questions are in chat. This is a good attack. I mean... 8, 9, 10. Why am I playing Thopter Engineer? Uh... Okay, so they just had Vengeance on our turn. So they get to draw like 14. Okay. That, uh... Alright, I mean... Uh huh. Oh, they have nourishing trolls. All right, we're probably just dead on dead on. We're we're dead on their literal turn. I guess it's turn two for them, not, not turn one. But I mean, I did not consider spirit guide into vengeance into kill us. I mean, we couldn't beat that anyway. So what are we gonna do? You know, effectively a turn two kill. It's our turn three. Their turn two. It's our end step. They're gonna kill us here probably. Maybe. I don't even know what's going to happen. A Nourishing Shoal again. They've drawn three quarters of their deck. They exile Grizzlebrand. They have 36 cards in hand. Are we dead? F6. This is not a drum set combo. They're just going to kill us or not kill us. Yep, they, they have Spirit Guide into looting into... Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was... um. That was a good hand, I guess. It's the casual, casual turn threesies. I guess I'll hit F6. Let them do their thing. They only have 33 cards in hand. Maybe they don't have enough lands, you know? If I attack with only the equipped one, they can only draw once. Well, I mean, I didn't consider that they would be putting Grizzlebrand in play that turn, you know? And dead. Okay. Just a little modern stuff, you know? It's modern things. We board a lot of cards, so this is also not a frenzy matchup, obviously. We're just trying to uh, stop our opponent from dying, killing us on turn three. Uh, Canonists are in, Tormod scripts are in, Welding Jars are actually in, I think. Um, let's. I mean, Jar protects our Tormod scripts from, like, or Canonist from removal. 
which I kind of like. Um, let me cut a mirror enforcer and cut, I guess, a paradise mantle. So we, we I think we kind of need, we need, we need some amount of stars to cast our cannonist. And we have four opal, four drum, but we have one mantle and two stars. I think it's enough. So this is fun. Sir, our new sub from Pittsburgh. Play Magic for four years. Company's favorite card. Abzan Company's favorite deck. Been lurking for a while. Thanks for the content. Hey, I appreciate that, Sir Hammerfall. Thank you very much. Subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player and as a streamer. And it is unbelievably appreciated. So thank you so much. This hand's like pretty bad. If you draw a white source, it's fine. So we're drawing to like 11 white sources and then four copies of Tormod script. I guess we keep. We have plating. I'm gonna say keep. I think mirror force. Mirror force was fine. You need to understand that just because you board a card out every every round doesn't mean the card is bad. It just means that it's a little more linear. And when you board in uh, non-linear cards, then your linear cards get worse. So it's very common to board out the most linear card in your deck for sideboard things. What's up, Kieran? Playing Frenzy in Affinity, yes. They kept seven. And they bottomed. Alright. Sweet. We drew one of our many outs. So let's drum. And play Canonist and feel pretty good about things. We got Plating next turn. Katie, new sub. What's up, Katie? Looting. So they have to actually remove this card to win, which is nice. So hopefully we'll draw a Tormod script to get some more hate going. They discarded Shoal Vengeance. That's a good discard for us. No Grizzle Brand in the graveyard. Memnite, cool. Could slide in bolts, sure. Quip skis, attack skis, pump skis. And they are dead next turn, so. Bolt or bust? Who should you gift a sub to? Right, what's up, Harry? Anger of the gods. That's a tilt. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. If this is a Blink Moth Nexus, yes, it'd be a lot better, but what are you gonna do? They are, they are dead next turn either way, so. Who should you gift a sub to? To Burnsy. How about Harry, who's a big fan, watching on YouTube for ages and just tuned in? Harry, welcome, my friend. All right, well, they have no no big doofer in the graveyard, so might be all right here. Goblin Crater Maker? That's where we're at right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, Goblin Crater Makers. Something else. What 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 is going on here? How is this better than other cards? I played Goblins with Crater Maker on stream. Check it out on my YouTube. Alright, I mean Goblin Crater Maker, what is the... Crater Maker kills uh, the plating, so the doesn't really matter that much. Ink Moth is probably not our path to victory anymore. Yep, there is plating. 
Alright. I mean, that was basically just a 3 mana sorcery speed shatter, so... It's fine. Looting. That anger was tough. I might have, maybe I overcommitted to the anger. There goes Grizzlebrand. Oh, we're still alive. Something about your stream just keeps me coming back. Thank you and keep up the great work, Jim. Thanks, Kieran. Appreciate that. Um, I mean, if they have Gore, Gore's Vengeance, they would have killed us last turn, right? I'm just gonna fire in here. I might die here. I might, I might have a vengeance and get back their stuff, but yeah, we do. All right. I can't see ever not attacking, so. Wait, Mirror Enforcer, Mirror Enforcer is legal in Modern? Um, if Creator Maker could destroy any call was permanent, it would be a Stone Rain also, which would be totally broken. So, Alright, they have the Shoal. Looks like they're killing us again. What's up, Pan? Who are you? Up oh, another shoal. All right, we're dead. That wasn't a very fun round. <sighs> well, I had a gut shot. That'd be cool. Why do we board in graveyard hate? What are you talking about? Board in four Tormod scripts. We just didn't draw them. What do you want from me? Oh my god. The old quad spirit guide. Through the breach something. It's on there, Sir Hammerfall. Look in the legacies or the other other format section. Alright, well. We're twenty-eight. I assume they have enough cards to kill us, but we're gonna F six and make them have it. Why didn't you draw your sideboard cards? We drew one of them. They just threw, they just drew their sideboard cards, like Goblin Crater Maker. Event in Jersey in January, probably. Old Amsterdam, thank you for following. All right, we're dead. I mean, good old fair modern decks here. All right, two and two. Let's go. Frenzy Affinity. Frenzy Elves is next. Frenzy Elves is next. We haven't cast Stop Engineer yet. Kind of makes me sad. I don't think we've cast Frenzy this league. We cast Frenzy like every game last league. This league, we just haven't really cast it. Frenzy Elves is happening literally in like 20 minutes. As soon as this uh, league finishes. There we go. That's a hand. Keep skis. Oh yeah, turn two Frenzy. I like it. Just gonna rip this. Sweet. Alright. Don't leave up counter magic. Just play a search for Escanta or something. Yes. Yes. Frenzy time. Coming everybody. It's frenzy time. It's frenzy time. Coming everybody. It's frenzy time. It's frenzy time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Land yet? We put a Lamister. It's turn two. Sorry. 
Can't play any more lands. It's turn two. Can I? No. Okay. All right, no uh, attention sphere. I want to go bananas next turn. Bind and opt. Let's go. Cranio plating. I might get countered, but we're casting it, so. Frogmite. This might elicit a concession here. Nope, all right, Frogmite. Oh! <gasps> Doctor Engineer, we can't cast it. It's so bad. Why do we put Doctor Engineer in our deck? Oh, Chad, I hate you. Chad forced me to put Doctor Engineer in my deck. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have plating on the. Put plating on the. Signal Pest, I guess. Or Memnite. Uh, it's probably just Signal Pest. They path it. It's the most damage. Yeah. We could like. Paradise Mantle something to get a little more mana next turn, but it's fine. Uh, on the Pest. It's worth Pest worth two damage. Maybe that's only worth one extra damage. No. If they Path Pest, we attack for five. If they Path Mem Knight, we attack for five. It doesn't matter. I think Pest is more important in the long run, though, so... The 3-2 flyer with affinity for artifacts, that's deep. Somber hover guard, that is very deep. Actually, right, if they path us, we get to keep frenzying. This could actually be great for us. They have condemn. And a toughness too, that's rude. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get him next turn. We'll get him next turn. Couldn't even be Path. Had to be Condemn. You didn't force you? Well, I wanted to, but I recognized it was probably a bad idea. And then I asked chat what to do, and chat said play Thopter Engineer, so I did. Wow, it's so lucky. I, I, I think I hate Terminus more than, like, most Magic cards. I think the Miracle mechanic is one of the worst mechanics ever created. Like... It is so swingy and high variance. I don't like when my magic cards tell me when to cast them. It's just the worst. Field of Ruin, sure. Alright. To keep his frenzy party going. Mass Hysteria. That may be in the elf deck coming up. So stay tuned for that. Oh, that's our second land, so whatever. Plating. Out of mana. That's okay. Now what, opponent? Now what? Yeah, Mass Hysteria is an enchantment that gives everything haste. Amusingly enough, it's a color-shifted version of a green enchantment, which would go much better in the elf deck, but... Alright. Memnite for free. Ornithopter for free. Welding Jar for free. Cranial Plating is not free, but we're still going to cast it. Vault Scourge. Okay, we're more interested in, uh, in equipping with these platings here, so we're not going to cast this Vault Scourge. Uh, we're going to equip... And we're going to equip and GLHF opponent. Yeah, stop range here would actually be very, very good if it was in play, but triggers. So they got uh, two paths here. Do they have a Hail Mary for Terminus? They could have Settle. It's fine. Nope, F. Yes, fail to find. Ugh. They have path, snap, path. All right. They can't do this forever, so... 
I think they're, I think they should condemn here, not path. Our top uh, they, they don't know our top card. Never mind. I'm thinking future sight. They can't see our top card. That's insane. How many we deal one? We're not one two. We're two two. That's out of date. I think. Is it out of date? I don't remember. Pretty sure it was our last match over two two. Post combat mox opal. And a frog might. And a vault scourge. And an ink moth nexus, perfect. And a mirror enforcer. There's probably a point I want to stop. Um. In case they hit terminus again. I guess if they hit terminus, we have. Nexus for lethal. Eh. Quipskis, your turn. Thanks all. Search for Escanta. Re main deck relic of Progenitus. In their search for Escanta Snapcaster deck. Someone does not want to lose the dredge. Cool. Nice game one there. Um, how do we like the sideboard? I am somewhat interested in Aether Sworn Canonist. I'm less interested in Aether Grid, unless I'm sure they have Stony. I actually kind of want to keep these Thopter Engineers around. Uh, Welding Jar seems bad. Paradise Mantle seems bad also. Canonists are in. For sure. Do I want Aether Grid? And like the thing is that like our deck can beat Stony Silence. Like we just have a lot of creatures and power, you know, like Mirror Forces and Frog Knights and crap. I guess Stony plus Terminus is probably hard to beat. Canada seems fine. Like we probably played like maybe twenty cards off Frenzy that game. Blood Mood for Colonnade? No, that's not the battle we're looking to fight here. Um. Do I want Aether Grid? Yay or nay? Eh, whatever. Put them all against the six. We've drawn both of our basic lands and an okay opening hand. That does make their Path to Exiles into Sword Supply Shares, which is annoying. Um, this hand's pretty bad. I'm going to mulligan. This hand's just too bad, I think. Also, drawing both basics against the Path to Exile deck just really sucks. I'm going to mulligan. Especially considering that, that Path to Exile is their only like real removal spell. I guess they have Condemn, but like they have to cast Path early, which ramps us. Alright, this is fun. I think hedging with one grid is okay, but... Alright, no Stony, please. This is not a good beat Stony end. Thank God. Ugh, this hand's so bad. Alright. Um, yeah, this hand, uh, we need to land there. Or a Mox Opal or some kind of mana source and did not find it. We're in a bit of trouble here. Field of Ruin, sure. Mox Opal. Frogmite. I mean, it plays. Alright, um... <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to... 
Let's just fire up Nexus and play Frogmites. I mean, we can't afford to play around much. We can't pop this star yet. We need the artifact in play. We're playing stars, two of. Um, it's a way to clear the top card of our Frenzy while we're going off. Um, may or may not be good. Also, let's just play, let's just cheat our lands a bit and then play our white cyborg cards. It's questionable. Alright, yeah, we're going to fire up the Nexus. It's possible star is not necessary. We're just playing two. My old band Teach Me Human has a song called Two Stars also, so I get to sing that. This is fine. It's the same thing, basically. Just get a mountain. You can't make mana with Ink Moth Nexus, but if they counter the Frogmite, we can't cast the next Frogmite. So... Don't have Supreme Verdict. Don't Miracle a Terminus. Alright. Alright, party time. That's actually not bad for us. It's a land. Thank God for that second basic. We could pop the star and try and draw a land. I'm just gonna pop a star. Mirror Enforcer is like kind of not off the table, but. All right, I guess Pest is better here. All right, they put some pressure in play at least. We're talking for seven next turn. In a logic knot? Mana leak? Sure, it's fine. They have three cards, four cards now. We're killing them. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sure. Does mean we're likely to get Terminus next turn, which kind of sucks, but... I'd have loved to have drawn a land there to put, to put plating on. All right, let's tack. If they have condemn, if they have anything here, we're in big trouble. Honestly, I'm just gonna assume they don't have condemn because we probably can't beat it or a path. Then we'll we'll play plating. We'll get terminus. Hopefully the uh, the Jace dies here. No, nope, they have it. Oh, we're super dead. We don't have any basic lands left, so getting settled is terrible. Yeah, I mean, we missed on mana sources a few too many times this game. No, no Terminus. All right. <sighs> oh, there's our land. We found it. Um, they have Colonnade now, too. Ugh. Alright. I guess we're attacking Jace. They, they have a... Yeah. They could fire up Colin on block, which wouldn't be the end of the world. It's maybe I should have attacked Chase with this also, just to put it to one. But
I mean, there are nine. We have almost lethal. They've the third brainstorm they've cast, so. They haven't shuffled, though, in between those brainstorms, so, like, without shuffling, it's a it's not a brainstorm, it's just, like, a draw one card, basically. Because they're just seeing the same cards over and over again, which is fine. I mean, that's not ideal, obviously, but we can still fire up our Nexus. Ornithopter's still a creature to cast. One, two, three, four, five. It costs two. Could just cast. You should just cast Mirror Enforcer, right? Oh, I can't. I'm, st I'm stupid. I can't do that. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're attacking. Six, seven, eight. All right, so we'll send six of them. We're one short of lethal. Moke affinity. They seem to have another path to exile, which means we're probably dead. That's a rough game, you know. Cryptic. Bounce Vault Scourge at the team. Yeah, I mean, now we're basically dead. The Tension Sphere. Vault Scourge. Alright, then we're going to pack it up and go to the next game. Draw a land and cast it. Alright, I guess we'll cast Frenzy. Whatever. They counter best, we concede. It's fun. fun. Rough hand. Stony silence, etc, etc. Still almost won. Yep, yeah, running it back. Everything's fine here. I'm pretty happy with everything that's happening here. On the play, we should be, you know, in pretty good shape to get ahead of them pretty, good, pretty quick. You know, without a lucky terminus... Should be fine. Sounds good. Les Paul, what's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. Sounds pretty good. Early plating, early creatures. Possible turn three frenzy. It's not turn two frenzy. We're a little short, but I guess I should have played and attacked. I wanted to equip anyway. It's fine. It's a birds of paradise. We made our own birds of paradise. So what's what's the news? What what happened on that reveal thing? I, I don't know what happened. Talk to me. Frenzy turn three. We're just doing crazy stuff over here. Dinos? No. We tried that one already. We're trying different things. Can't do the same thing all the time. Ultimate Masters three thirty five per box. 24 packs, only available at local game stores. Crazy reprints. This is like completely not something that I care about. 
Alright, yeah, I don't, I don't care about this stuff at all, so. Um, okay. Let's play Ornithopter. Let's just get in for nine here and see what they do. I don't want to cast Frenzy to a counterspell, you know. Alright. I'm not casting Frenzy, so... I'm going to move this over here. Actually, I should switch that. I should put the Paradise Mantle over here and the plating on the Signal Pest. Yeah, it's better. Whatever. I changed my mind. Morning, Charlie. Charlie. A little, a little switcheroos. I mean, we could have gone for the win. There's no reason to. They have seven cards in hand. Why, why, why do that? We have a great threat. You don't want to just do stuff into your opponent, your control opponent's open mana. Make them have to have stuff. There you go. Path to Exile. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's kind of annoying. Um, I would like to cast Mirror Enforcer, but I also want to cast Frenzy. So let's just equip and present lethal, I guess. It's not lethal, it's just short of lethal. Doctor was sick. Yeah, I should just, I probably should have. They have Snapcaster here, and I play Enforcer, and they go like. Path frog my or path enforcer snap box. I'm just gonna attack. It's not lethal, but it may, it may be enough to get them to commit to tapping other lands, so I can cast frenzy. Okay. I mean, I just you just don't you don't have to buy master sets. Like I don't like foils. I don't really care about that. I'm just not gonna buy that. You know. All right. Second main, Resolve Frenzy, and let's party. Can't guess that. Right. We do Path My Bird? Sure. More mana for me. Let's go. Don't kill my Frenzy. I'll snap, I swear to God. All right, good. Ink Moth Nexus. Mirror Enforcer. One, two, three, four. Fire up Igmont Nexus. This cost two. I think I fire up the other Igmont Nexus also, actually. This cost one. Then I play the Mirror Enforcer. And then I play an Ornithopter. And then I play a Vault Scourge. We're gonna next and a sub. Cochran Fox, that's month number two. Fox, thank you so much, my friend. That's a resub. The only better than a new sub is a returning sub, and month number two is the important one. Thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate it very much. All right, two three twos in a row um, with this pretty wild frenzy affinity deck. Um, something feels a little off. Like we're not really there yet. Um. Not sure. Oh, we probably shouldn't play this card. That's all Twitch chat. But 
Once we got Frenzy in play, we did some pretty nasty stuff. And then even without Frenzy, we're still playing a very reasonable affinity deck also. So I kind of like it. I feel like it's missing something. I'm not sure what that something is exactly. Um, but obviously, don't be shy in chat. If you think you know what it's missing, talk about it. But um, but yeah, that is pretty sweet. Um, Frenzy is very, very powerful, as you saw. It just goes nuts. We're playing this deck next, Frenzy Elves. What's that? Gotta stay tuned, gotta stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, you gotta check, check out the next video. Um, but, yeah, pretty wild. No Tyler Striker. Ravager, Galvanic Blast. Um, Ravager is obviously awkward with like Mirror Enforcer and stuff. Um, Simeon Spirit Guide, eh, it's not really a thing. Chaz Resub. Philip, new sub. Combo uh, Philip resub also. Thanks, everyone. Well, Ravagers and Overseers are slow. You know? So. Ah, uh, next sweet. It's cool. Galvanic Blast is not an artifact, so it makes your mirror forces and stuff worse. MTG Brew Crew. Good luck growing your brand. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate that. If you missed it, um, I was on the Brew, the Brew Crew podcast. Good friends of mine. Uh, Big Joe and Gary. I've known them for over a decade. Uh, Gary was in my band. Gary Joe is in my band. He's Yogi Brown. Yogi Brown, say what? This is my band. And Gary's just the man. And I guess Andrew was there too, but whatever. Forget Andrew. Check it out. Brew, 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 I can't say it. Brew Crew Podcast at MTG underscore Brew Crew. It's on my Twitter. Check it out. It's a podcast, I guess. A lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that's cool. So I don't know. Maybe we'll work on it more. Maybe not. But for now, that's going to do it for this video on YouTube. The stream will continue. The YouTube video will not. So, peace is YouTube. Make sure you follow.